Hello friends, welcome back again in our Excel automation tool. So today I am going to show how you can manage your multiple database into your multiple user form. There you can see multiple database. So we are going to manage our multiple database into multiple user form. So this is our home. So first of all, we are going to click the open user form button. So this is the home page and there is all our menus available. So if you want to go to menu 5, then just click the menu 5. Otherwise, if you want to first menu, then just click the menu 1. Okay, I am click the menu 1. There, this is the DV, that means database number 1. And if you want to go to the database name 2, then just click to database 2. Okay, so first of all, we are going to manage the database 1 management form. And this is the input field. So there is our required input field. So you can customize there. And also, this is the date option. So if we need the input any date, then just click to the icon. Then there is the calendar is appearing and we can select this. Okay. So test basis, we are now input in our information. Just test. Okay. So when all our input field will be filled up, then we just need to go to the add new button. So as well as you can see, there is the multiple button for add new. When you want to input information, just click to add new button. So now we are going to add information. Just click this add new. Okay, you can see there is the test and Khalid information is inserted there. So if you want to edit anything, just click on that information and all information will be show there. And also we are going to change our information. Okay. Okay. When all your information will be changes, then you can click the update button. Okay. So this is our information and now this is changes. And if you want to delete this information, just click there and also you can use the delete button to delete the, the information. So if you want to clear information, just click the clear button, then the information will be clear. Okay. So we are going to now search information. So there is you can see the search criteria wise. So you can search by all criteria wise. Otherwise, also you can specific the criteria just column B column C that you are can mention there. So we are going to search by all just select the all and search value is test. Okay, there you can see this is the test and that is the show information is showing and the total count is one. Okay, if you want to refresh this form, just click the refresh button. So when if you want to download the information, just click the download button. I am class click the download and report download successfully. So if you want to see this, just click the exit button, close the form and go to the DV1 report. Okay, so this is our record information is downloaded. Okay, close this. Okay, again opening the form. And you can see there is the minus and plus icon. If you want to customize your form, just if you want to increase or decrease the form, just you can use this icon, minus icon, and also you can plus icon for customize your form. And we can also see the DV name too. That means your second menu, and also you can see this is the another menu. So if you want to change or maintain the form, you can customize or change it at the same time. So I hope you understand now how we can manage our multiple database into multiple user form. So if you want to any customization or any assistance, you can contact with us. So this is our download of platform. So you can download your required tool from this platform as well as please subscribe to our channel and see you in the next tutorial. That's all. Thank you very much.